And that's how you sync up your audio. I'm, I'm using my iPhone to record the audio because the internal microphone on this camera isn't like the most amazing. It's not bad, but it's really echoey in here. So we'll see how it goes. Good morning, happy Saturday. Well, it's Saturday for me. I don't know what day it is for you. Today I wanted to do a chatty, get ready style makeup video. I do at least this, I do this at least once a year um, because I change up my makeup routine once a year for the most part. So uh, for a long time I would, I would try to do this like once a week, but I was using the same product so it got boring. Anywho, today I just wanted to like hang out in my bathroom with you. That sounds creepy. And uh, just chat about life and probably my makeup because not much is going on in my life right now. I like to start off with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I bought this like three weeks ago. Look how much I've used of it already. I use it, oh, it smells really good. I use it like once a day usually, sometimes twice a day. This is the full size. And it's really freaking expensive, but it smells good and it feels nice. So I might repurchase it, but we'll see. I then like to go on in with this Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer. I mentioned this in you know, my, my favorites at the moment. And it has SPF in it, so it, it takes out the step of having to put this in, and it's also a moisturizer, although because I washed my face like three hours ago, I put this uh, Cosmetic Lab moisturizer on. So I like this moisturizer, but the only thing is, is that it comes in one shade for the tinted color, which my skin color is not the same skin color as everyone's in the world. So... I feel like that's dumb. If you're gonna have a tinted moisturizer, at least have like shade options for super fair, not as fair, kind of darker and like really dark. Like four options isn't a lot, but one option certainly isn't enough. So I just put that all over my face. My idea for a makeup routine is that it's functional being that hand washing break. It's functional being that the products that I'm using have multiple functions, like this tin and moisturizer. Um, and quick, because I wake up like 40 minutes before I have to go and I don't really wanna think about what I have to do. I then like to go in with this Glossier stretch concealer. I have been loving this stuff. I used to use it with my fingers but I watch Katie Jane Hughes, I think that's her name, on Instagram and she raves about this and she uses this brush to apply it all over. I don't apply it all over, I just apply it like under my eyes, on my eyelids and any red areas because I don't like to have a lot of makeup on my face if I can avoid it. So that's pretty much what I do with that. I don't generally wear a lot of makeup because the more makeup I wear, the more time it takes to do. And like I said, I like things to be quick and easy and out the door, but still look fresh and polished and put together. So this seems to work for me. It's funny though, yesterday I wore an eyeshadow <laughs> to work. I don't generally wear like eyeshadow or if I do it's not super dark but I wore this eyeshadow to show you all. It's this eyeshadow by Bare Minerals. <laughs> this eyeshadow by Bare Minerals. It's gorgeous like goldish brown. Bronzy? It's not bronze but it's not brown. I don't know how to describe it. It's called Sex Kitten if you want to look it up. I wore it all over my eyelids and I kept everything else pretty bare because balance. And this woman that I work with, she's like, whoa, you look so different with makeup on. It's amazing. Literally all I did was put eyeshadow on and I 
didn't think I looked that different, but I guess I did. So then I just take this next HD finishing powder. It's the translucent color and I put it under my eyes, on my eyelids, and basically anywhere where the makeup will start to separate from my face and get away. Next, I go in with this brow powder. This is It Cosmetics Brow Powder. Uh, forgive me if I start to get close to the mirror. Actually, I just see. And it is, it changed my life when it came to eyebrows. I thought that Boy Brow from Glossier changed my life, but to be quite honest, Boy Brow is like really expensive for how much you get and how quickly you go through it. I also usually don't do my eyebrows using this mirror, so hopefully they look okay. This It Cosmetics Brow Power I got for Christmas, and it's July. So I feel like when this runs out, I'm most definitely gonna purchase it. A couple of weeks ago, I finally updated my driver's license from an Indiana driver's license to a DC driver's license. Shh, don't tell anyone. And my Indiana driver's license picture was so awful. You know, it's the law in most states that you can't smile in your driver's license picture because apparently it's easier to identify people when they don't smile, which is kind of weird to me because smiles are so unique. So I looked awful. And then I got my new driver's license and I didn't look quite as awful. Still not amazing, but I've come to the conclusion that the reason I looked so gosh darn terrible in my driver's license picture was because my eyebrows were non-existent. I got that driver's license picture, when did I turn 21? I don't know, I got my driver's license picture taken the week before I turned 21 because obviously I needed a new driver's license because mine was expiring and uh, but if that gives you any perspective when I was 21 I knew filling in eyebrows was a thing didn't really know how to do it didn't really want to take the time to do it and it took me all the way until I first discovered boy brow well the next I'm just like jabbering about makeup today. The NYX um, Fine Brow Pencil is pretty good too. It's only 10 bucks, but it still doesn't last as long as that Eat Cosmetics one. It wasn't until I discovered that that I really learned how to fill in my eyebrows and then Boy Brow and then finally the It Cosmetics Brow Power. It's the best thing I've ever put on my face. Now I'm going to use a bronzer, Too Faced chocolate matte soleil. I'm kind of disappointed because you know how powders get when they start to dry out. It's already happening with this and I just got this like when I got that Caudalie split spray. I've been wanting the chocolate soleil bronzer for so long and I never bought it because it's $30 and I didn't really wear bronzer, like I wore the bronzer in the cosmetics palette that I had, but like bronzer wasn't really my thing. It was really blush. I treated myself to a Sephora shopping spree and I bought this and they changed the packaging. So I got the new packaging. I have no idea if this formula is different than the previous formula, but I like it. I then take a little shading brush, put it in the eyeshadow and eyeshadow, the bronzer and then put that in my crease and blend it onto my eyelid. This is what I wear literally every day is bronzer in my crease. And that's why when I wore a smoky eyeshadow, it was only, I put this eyeshadow on and then I put the bronzer, or I put the bronzer on and then I put the eyeshadow on over it to kind of blend the two. And then curl my eyelashes, ouch. I never not curl my eyelashes, although I don't think that they actually stay curled throughout the day. 
Then I take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the travel size. I saw this somewhere on the internet that the travel size mascaras last about as long as a full size. You're technically supposed to replace your mascara every three months, I think, but who really does that? So I bought the travel size, which is a good idea because I really want to try the Glossier um, mascara, mostly because it's a semi-waterproof mascara. Me, I don't know if that's actually how they market it, but basically that means that it will stay on, but it washes off pretty easily with water. Whereas this Too Faced mascara um, transfers on me so bad. I'm basically almost finished. It usually takes me far less time to do my makeup than it is right now. I'm going to mix these two cloud paints together because I'm not sure what I want to put on my lips today. So I mix these two and it makes like a peachy color, which in my opinion goes with basically any color of lipstick. I could forego blush and just stick with bronzer, but I feel like I need blush on my face. Like I just look, mm, I just need a little, a little teeny pink. So I mix puff and dusk together and that's the color it comes up with. And I just put it on my cheeks. Hand washing break. Does anyone else have like old rags that they don't use for washcloths anymore just for makeup? Like it's disgusting. I have this sweat towel that has been stained with makeup and it looks gross. But like I'm not gonna use my regular hand towels to wipe my hands off when I have makeup on them. I'm gonna go in with Glossier's Halo Scope. I still like this. And I just put it on the highlight areas. I think it's funny when you watch makeup tutorials and people are putting highlighter on. And they're like, I just put it on the highlight areas. The highlight areas? What are the highlight areas? I put it on the outwardly protruding bones on my face. That was eloquent. The highlight areas are the tops of your cheekbones. Right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. That's where I put it. And then because I still don't know what I want to do with my lips, I'm just going to use this mint juleps lip scrub. I'm still scrubbing. And I'm going to take this Glossier Balm.com and just put it on my lips until I decide what color lipstick I want to wear. There are only really a few color lipsticks that I will wear on a daily basis. One being the Tarte Lippy Lingerie, an Envy or Exposed, or the NARS Matte Lip Pencils in Dragon Girl or Cruella. I did mix these two together and they were really cool too. Hey, hi, hello, it's future me. By future I mean like three hours into the future maybe? I decided on a lip color, Tarte Lip, Lippy Lingerie and Envy. I just, you know, I couldn't leave you hanging on the lipstick that I'm wearing and it goes better with this bathing suit, I think, maybe. Okay, bye. So that's basically what I do every day to my face for work, for going to the pool, for everyday life. And now I have to figure out what I wanna do with the rest of my life right now. All right, so that's my everyday makeup at the moment. If it changes drastically, You'll be the first to know. Well, actually, probably Instagram will be the first to know. Catch you later.